Hey guys, we're going to do a quick DIY on how to remove the old dash cam foam or adhesive from your windshield after you had a dash cam and you're replacing it or basically you need to replace your windshield and you don't want the dash cam uh, mounts to be on the windshield when you throw it away. You definitely just need dental floss. That's really what you need. You can also use fishing wire if you want. But dental floss with that's double layered, like I said, you get two yards of it and basically seesaw through the, um, the foam of the adhesive. That's basically what you all need to do. And then basically cuts it in half. I see saw the motion, I use about two or three strands of dental floss. Like I said, two or three yards would do make it very easy. It only costs about a dollar for dental floss. And as soon as you cut it in half, the foam is very easy to actually just peel back and, and remove. So as you can see, I just cut through the foam really quick. This has only been on my uh, windshield for about six months or so. Then I got a rock that hit my windshield. So I really didn't want my uh, new car um, to not have my old dash cam, so I decided to salvage my mounts, and that's what you get. You get your, you have all that dental floss that gets cut up and eaten away. Basically, the dental floss acts as a saw to saw through that foam, and it makes it very easy. Afterwards, all you need to do is just basically rub off the old adhesive. It's the 3M foam that actually just comes right off. This is, like I said, only about six months old. If it was a year or two old, it's about the same. I've had it with um, with a one-year-old dash, and this is how I removed it before. So this is how I do it. So um, if you want to find other ways to do it, I'm sure there's other ways to do this, but I think you know, dental floss is really inexpensive to remove this foam. And afterwards, you basically slowly peel off the, the remaining uh, foam, and it's pretty stable I noticed that the foam it, you know it, you can still peel it off even after about one year so nice and easy nice and slow do it perpendicular to uh, things so it's nice to so slowly peel it out you don't want to break it uh, or anything nor do I want to use anything to scrape it so because I have those little dots on there I don't want to just damage the glass either but anyways that's really about it that's that simple you just use um, about three yards of dental floss multi-layered you want to keep three four layers at once and just seesaw this thing off and that's it. The reason why I did was, like I said, big crack on my driver's side. So I didn't want to lose these mounts. I want to keep the mounts and put it on my new glass. Ta-da! There it is. Of course, this was a Honda Clarity or most new cars have these laser and camera systems that are mounted on the windshield where they require you to get the OEM glass as well as getting it recalibrated at the dealership. I'll make a new video about that later and how much this thing cost me, <laughs> which is pretty, pretty expensive. Stay tuned for more. Please like, subscribe for more um, DIYs and other solutions to the um, Honda Clarity and also all of my other cars. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Don't forget to hit the bell button to stay tuned for more. It's a notification button. See you next time. Thanks a lot.